If you're looking for some portfolio inspiration, I found these websites on Framer that you'll love. Let's check it out. First up, we've got Meris Mavok. He is a, it's a personal website. He's a product web designer. So if I were to refresh, you can see nice clean animations as they slide in. I love the bold type here. Not the usual font. You've got sort of all caps with the thin font. And I really like it. The color is really good. You've got the contrast you can see with the light text and the dark background. And then you've got some nice little hovers with the text there. Love this image. You can see, okay, it's like a app for some crypto app or something like that. Everyone uses these slide-ins there, automatic sliders. They're just really nice. It's a nice touch to add that to your website. It just shows that you can do motion. And then you can see this grid here. So it's not a bento or anything. It's just a modular type of grid that has got two different sizes. I like how I've got a little zoom in when you put your mouse in there so you can tell like it's clickable. Scroll through and I like this section. You scroll through and got these services here that shows, okay, I do, he does product, web design and framer. Love that. Love the clean icons as well. This is good because you don't want too much text. It's always great to have icons to back up your design to balance it out and make it more interesting because then some clients will get bored. You've got this section here. I'm not sure I like it with the, you can see this space here. Um, I'm not sure if I like that and the orange background, but the text is pretty clean. Scroll through and got some buttons. And then you got this nice foot. I love this little logo pattern type of thing in the back there, looking good. Uh, just quickly click on a project and scroll through. You've got this sticky section on the side. So one way to, um, as someone's navigating, scrolling through, you can have a sticky, block where if a client or someone's reading it they can go through and always have that on the side clean website really great next we've got adam kozel you can see you've got this loading animation he is also a multi-designer um, product in motion which is really cool now this is really cool in the back you can see you move your mouse and it has this nice motion distortion liquify effect uh, which is pretty cool he must have done that in like spline or or something like that to add that Really smooth blending as you scroll through and you got these nice moving portfolio pieces. It adds a lot of dynamic movement with these portfolio pieces and it just makes you want to click on it like what's that? It just makes you want to engage with it. It's really cool. Um, you can't click on it though because it's just a video. But we scroll through and you've got this highlight effect. I feel like that's really fresh. You don't see that too often but that's really cool. Um, scroll through and then you've got projects and then you've got a slider there. And I love the little details. So in the layout, you can see he's using a lot of different um, small text, using different sizes, different fonts. Uh, so you've got like a headline and this one's more condensed, more like digital mono type of font. But I really like how you got like this grid, do these lines here. It adds, it makes it look more unique. It's always good to like do different layouts. He's got his services there. I love how he's using this grid, makes it more easy to read and scan through. So as you scroll through and then we reach the bottom, that's it. Then you've got just some links here. You put your mouse, I love this little arrow here. It moves through, really clean website, digging the design and overall it's uh, yeah, simple but creative. Next we've got lauravals.es. You've got sort of this animating frame here, which is beautiful. I love you, she's got this also, she has this tag on the top right. So she's saying she's available or not. So that's just pretty good. But the issue is, I'd say it's better not to have that because you want clients to inquire anyway because then it might feel like, you know, you could miss out on opportunity because sometimes clients, they're okay with you saying, hey, I'll book you in three months later or two months and just lock them in. It's better that way. Scroll through. Love these cards, how they fade in and out as you're scrolling. That's really fun. You also, a scroll bar on the bottom, which I really like. And I also love this button in the bottom corner, bottom right. If you click on that, it'll take you to a CV. So it's a clean landing page. It's like I'm going through like a presentation slide deck, but you can see it's very smooth as you scroll through. Then you got a bento grid with this fun hover interaction, shows the design, different categories. Then you've got her Instagram page as well. And it's all moving. It's just fun having motion. It does take extra time or you might have to hire someone to do that, but it just makes adds a whole lot of difference. And then love the colors with this green and purple. Let's just click on say, does it, can I click on any of these? No, I don't think you can click on the actual categories, but you can click on the work on Instagram. It'll take you there, which I think is cool. It'll cool just to be have the projects like find any work. Maybe it's back here. Yeah, I'm not sure. So maybe it'll be better that, but I love the overall design of this. It's different. Next, we've got Chris 
Martini design. We've got this sort of moving archive of projects on the right, which is nice. Scroll through, you can put your mouse, it has just a little zoom in, very subtle detail there. The projects on the left, you can tell they've done a lot of work. And then just got, uh, not a big footer, but they just got a bar on the bottom. Maybe it would have been cool to have a fun footer there. But you can see we've got work on the side and the cursor changes. So when I put my mouse, you can see like the cursor changes and you can see view archive. That's a nice little feature there. And we can just see the whole bunch of designs scroll through. So we can just see their work all at a glance. It's just nice to see what they've done for. But then if we click into here, you can see it's got a nice case study. I love the cleanness of this layout here. Describing the project, the goal, what was done. And then you've got some motion, you've got some UI designs there. Videos of the logo, icon set, and then a summary of the team and the work down the bottom. So another great portfolio site. Next, we've got Strange Wolf Studios. Love this little powerful design with this logo here. It's fun, it's in your face, it's big, it's bold. I like this border. You can see with the yellow and then the contrast with the black, that works really well. So, and you can see the work. As soon as I see that, I'm like, I wanna scroll down and, and look. There's no hover effect when I put a mouse over it, which is kind of, not the best, but some of them you can click, some of them you can't. So this one, I can click on that. This one takes me to a project and then it has like this nice grid. You got some clean text, scroll through, stand up, be cool, be strange. I love this illustration, this bottom section, you know, showing a bit of the creativity, their brand as well. Stand up, be cool, be strange. Let's work together. So you got a call to action and then you got like this nice tagline or slogan that works really well. And he's put that on every page. So there's consistency there. The logos, I reckon the logos should probably put it up the top under here, just above the work, instead of putting it at the bottom. But overall, I like it. It's a simple portfolio with a simple grid. You got motion showing the projects. And um, yeah, the only thing I would change is maybe adding a little hover effect so it shows that some of these are clickable. Next, we've got Home A Studio. Another dark-ish design. You've got a bar up here. Science of designers to solve one's problems with grace. That shows the wisdom of the character create and every art. So you got a quote that's different. You don't normally see that. Scroll through and I really like this clean grid here. Put your mouse over it. These designs look really nice as well. So I love that the, you got the text and just an image, bold image there. That works really well. Tools we are using with a little animated bar. And then we've got a sticky section on the side. So that sticks to the canvas. And then we've got these nice UI product shots right here just look really good FAQs then pricing so it looks like it's a subscription model another great web portfolio website let's just click on one of these projects really quick uh, let's click on this one. Oh, it's on dribble so I like this little feature you can see on the bottom you got this little a slide in this fade and it goes to dribble which is cool that's kind of cool. It would be nice to maybe keep them on the platform instead of trying to go to dribble. But I think it's another clean portfolio site, clearly showing the work here. And um, yeah, something different. Next, we've got Flippo Bello. Now, this one has got a fun carousel wheel type of design. You scroll through and it moves through this carousel, which is just different. And I just love the text. Look at this text. It's like doing this roll effect. I haven't seen that much done before like it just you move your mouse and it and it moves it's so cool and then you can click on a project zooms in it's mad design and you got some videos here look at this simple shots big images love that next project i love the bold condensed font light background bold text it just works really well and then you know adding some videos in here of the work scroll through now this is really cool. Now when you put your mouse over the corners, you can see it has this like rotation effect as well. Then it zooms in. I just love that effect. It's so cool. And then you've got like big text and then this side as well. So this is another fun portfolio that I really liked. Now lastly, we got AimPie. Now this one has more of a bold, vibrant design, high quality visuals. And you can see you can start a project or a click call to action. You put your mouse over it and you got the eye, the cursor changes to eyes. That's really fun. And let's just scroll through. And there's a lot of storytelling in this one. There's definitely feature design in your digital universe. I love the storytelling. You've got the cursor. It does move a little slow, which is a bit annoying, but that's fine. You're scrolling and the text comes and hits. You've got that smooth transition, sort of masking that out. Love this. Changes color, purple to black. And I just love this effect here. So you can see the cursor changes. 
you got these little tags this moves as well and then you keep scrolling and it pops up with a new project it just feels very high quality and premium these little interactions make a big difference and then you can see the services you put your mouse and it pops up so very professional feels fun feels creative and then you got a photo there with testimonials and then what else collaborate and then a nice big logo down the bottom who doesn't love a big nice logo with a little logo mark really fun click on the project it zooms in very smooth transition i love how it doesn't like load it just like it goes in that's perfect and then you can scroll through look at this beautiful work i love how they've broken out of the grid and just done something different zooming in on all the you know the design system the ui the text and all that beautiful portfolio website so hope you enjoyed these seven portfolio websites all built within framer it shows the power of framer like you can do so many awesome transition effects you can do illustration you can do grids you can do a whole bunch of things and yeah i think it's really great inspiration if you want to start building your portfolio and maybe you want to start building a portfolio i've actually got a cool discount code in the link in the description below just use the code jeremy and you get 25 percent off your first three months um, on any website plan on Framer. Definitely give it a try. I think you'll like it, but it's definitely great uh, if, you, if you're a designer and you want to move into development, definitely try out Framer. If you want to see some other websites for inspiration, I've got a video right here where I show you some amazing sites that are built in Webflow as well. Cheers.